I think I can finally say that my no color challenge Bloxburg house is finally complete. Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here. Welcome to a brand new Roblox video here on the channel. I hope all of y'all are having a fantastic day. Ladies and gents, today we're going to be playing a Roblox Bloxburg and I am going to be attempting the Bloxburg No Color House Challenge where basically I have to build a house and I'm not allowed to use any colors or paint any items inside the house at all. Yeah, I have no idea how this challenge is gonna turn out, but I read a lot of the comments from you guys telling me I should do this. So here we are doing it. I, I honestly don't know how this is gonna turn out, guys. Hopefully I don't screw this up and I can make a somewhat decent house. My only worry about this, guys, is because colors literally make or break an entire house, so uh, by not using any colors, my house might end up looking as plain and ugly as the outside of this freaking bedroom that I built. And this is not pretty at all. So hopefully I don't screw this up. If you guys think I can do this justice, be sure to smack that like button right now. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. I'm on my versus plot right now, also known as my challenge plot. And I'm going to be building it at the back of the plot over here. So well, we got plenty of room. Let's just hope the room that I'm using is good for a, uh, a nice looking house. So here we are in building build mode guys and I'm actually gonna not make it too big of a house this time I have an idea of what I'm gonna do I'm just hoping it works out in the way that I plan for it to no promises on this though it could end up looking completely trash but it's okay because it's a challenge I'm not meant to be able to you know properly execute it I'm just trying it okay so here we go starting things off I need to build a a big old area here for a nice door. I think the door that we're gonna go with, guys, is the frosted front door. This is actually one of my favorite doors inside Bloxburg, besides the modern ones, like the tall transom door. I think I pronounced that right. I honestly have no idea. But now that we have the door placed, guys, I gotta actually pick out a window. And instead of going with the regular modern windows that I always go with, I think we're gonna roll with the medium paneled window for this build. I don't know why, I just like the look of this and I want to try something different like I said before, but I should probably make the walls a little bit bigger. The thing is, I now can't place this window right there. Okay, you know what? I think that's fine. We can work with this and no big deal. Next thing on our list to do, guys, is to actually build a garage. So well, let's go ahead and make it, I'd say about this big. Okay, I feel like that's a, uh, that's a good amount of space. And then I do uh, want to only make it four blocks wide and then I want it to protrude outside of the house just a tiny bit. So boom, there we go guys. The thing is that the outside of the house is obviously gonna stay this really, really gray color. I do believe that I'm allowed to texture things. I just can't change the actual colors of everything. So I don't mind that. Like I can actually work with that and we still might be able to make something good out of all this. Fingers crossed guys. But here we go, we're using the frosted garage door so that it matches the front door. And then boom, we got this going for us. Like I said, this house is gonna be super super simple not crazy big or anything like that just because I don't want to bother like decorating an entire interior without using any colors I feel like that's just gonna be difficult on its own so boom this is the layout of the house that we're going for now, I do want to make it two stories tall so I need to find the stairs and I want to go with the attitude stairs just because they're a nice brown and white color they match with the house and then they also add, once again, the brown color to the entire place. So I think that looks really, really nice. And then a boom, there we go, a nice wall. And then let me go ahead and then top this area off with a floor, just so that I have it for reference later on in the vid. So boom, there we go, guys. This is the general layout of the house. I'm gonna get started on a little bit of a detailing in the interior and laying out everything else. So I'll be back when 
all of that's done. Later. So 30 minutes have passed, guys, and I've done a lot of work to the house. Y'all can see the entire bottom floor has been textured. The kitchen is finished, and a dining room has also been added. I actually love how this kitchen turned out, guys. I decided to use the traditional counters and cabinets just because they add color to the entire house. And honestly, I don't know why I've never used these before. They actually look really, really good. We got a double stove right here. We got two sinks, a beautiful island with some kitchen stools. I'm probably going to add a little bit more detailing like some, I guess, salt and pepper shakers, maybe some Tabasco, some spices, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff like that to really liven up the place. But so far, guys, this challenge isn't as difficult as I thought. The only like hard part about this is actually finding things to match. You guys can see I added a glass table inside the dining room but it doesn't really match with anything. But I do want to use this just because it's something that I don't use on a daily basis. I also don't know how to feel about this like wallpaper thing I added right there. I think it looks good, but also at the same time, I could be terribly wrong. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. But I think it's about time I actually finish up, I guess, the entire bottom floor and then start working on the second floor. The bedrooms are honestly going to be so plain and boring. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for that yet. Much, much, much later. So I've started working on the second floor, guys, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I honestly have no idea what I am doing right now. Like, I don't think it looks too bad. The first floor is pretty much complete. I had no idea what to add in this empty space right here, so I just added a bunch of bookshelves. And as for the second floor, I am really, really bad at at laying out bedrooms. So I think I'm just gonna have a one ginormous bedroom on the second floor. Like, I, I think that's my best bet here. And I honestly think that's all I can do with this. So, uh, yeah. This challenge, once again, guys, is way harder than I originally expected it to be. Right here, what I'm building right now is gonna be most likely the closet and the bathroom. And then I'll probably throw like a desk or something right here. Maybe I could turn this space into like a tiny little recording office or something. Or maybe, maybe guys, I'll just turn this into the washer dryer room. That's a room that I usually forget in a lot of other Bloxburg builds so you know that might actually be a nice addition to this house but I do want to build a little bit on camera so you guys can actually see what's going on through my head when I'm doing all this stuff trust me it's a mess you guys probably don't want to know what's going on but it's okay because I am going to show y'all anyways so let's go ahead and work on the bathroom right now just because the bathroom in a house is something that I actually really really like working on it's it's something that I think I'm fairly decent at, which is pretty much the only reason why I want to do it. So I think for this, I'm going to use a modern corner bath just because a nice huge house needs to have a really, really big bath. I just think that looks really, really good. And then I'm debating if I want to go with the basic shower set or the modern shower set. Like there's not really too much of a difference, but just because I am a little bougie, guys, we're going to roll with the modern one. And then the usual thing that I do with this is I get a fence and then I section off of this area. Now I'm gonna texture this a different thing than the plain gray. Let's go ahead and try to use this, uh, this thing right here. I don't actually know what this is called, but uh, I guess it's like a weird wood sort of material. And then we'll add a wall right there and then make that the exact same color. And then uh, boom, add a tall uh, modern window and we have ourselves a simple shower. Now that I got the shower placed, guys, I think it's about time I add the toilet and the sink. I gotta figure out how on earth I am gonna do this though because the challenge doesn't allow me to color anything. So I gotta find a sink that matches the like weird gray that this entire place is. So I guess we can kind of roll with this like a floating vanity thing right here. I think that looks uh, 
all rights, I guess. I, I don't really know how to feel about this. Maybe, maybe I'll try putting two of them like right next to each other. Maybe that'll look good. Three sinks is a little overkill. So I think two uh, might be our best bet. Here's the thing. I don't actually know where to add a toilet inside this build. Uh, this really doesn't leave a too much room for one. So yeah, this is a problem. This is actually a really, really big problem that I am slowly running into. I don't know if it would be just like a good idea to add it right here. I feel like that might be fine, all right? The toilet doesn't take up too much space. So I don't think it would be a big deal. I'll just throw like a regular door right there, delete this wall and then out of the toilet. Oh God, man, I literally said I was like a somewhat decent at building bathrooms. And here I am just screwing it all up. So this is uh, this is definitely not a good look for me. My pride right now is a little shot, but uh, you know what, yeah, that's, that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. And uh, from the looks of it, it looks like I am losing this one right now. Let's go ahead and add a nice little toilet paper thing right there. Add the wall back and now I got to decide what I want to color the inside of this bathroom I do have to delete the walls and re-add everything here real quick though just because I don't want to paint the entire area right here so time for a lot more of the meticulous stuff and I gotta freaking add all of the sinks and the mirrors again oh my god you know what I think at this rate guys I'll just be back when I finish the entire house a lot of boring math later. Alrighty, ladies and gents, after working on this house for about another hour or so, I think I can finally say that my no color challenge Bloxburg house is finally complete. Guys, I honestly think I did a pretty good job on it. Obviously, this was not my best build at all, just because I was very, very limited on the resources that I could actually use but still I think I made it work I used whatever I could and the house came together pretty well so here we go time for the grand tour so right when you walk into my house First things first, obviously it's gray, it's kind of bland, and it's kind of boring. But over in this direction, you have the simple dining room with the glass table and the glass chairs with two huge windows to, you know, look out of and see the rest of my other builds on my plots. And then over here in this direction, you guys know we got the huge freaking kitchen and uh, a floating toilet. Okay, uh, I didn't mean to do that, but, uh, yeah, so there's, uh, there's that. Every single build I have, guys, I don't know why, but there's always something that I forgot to do. But anyways, that's besides the point. I filled up the kitchen. You got the spatulas and the whisks and everything like that over here. You got knives, sinks, you know, you got the refrigerator, a tea kettle. Simple, simple stuff, guys. I think the kitchen probably is the best part of this entire house. This is the garage right here with no car because I just spent all of my money on on this house. We got a bunch of bookshelves over here because your boy loves to read. I actually started reading again and uh, it's actually a really, really fun pastime for me now. And then over in this direction, guys, this is the simple living room fireplace. I usually would add bookshelves right here, guys, but the bookshelves don't actually match the color of the fireplace. So I decided to add these weird little shelves right here. I think they look just fine. And then you got a huge plasma screen TV and uh, it looks pretty dang good now on to the second floor of the house guys over here I decided uh, rather than adding a washer dryer room I would just add a recording room that way you know I can record in my new house I got a you know different textured background so that the background of all of my videos actually look really really nice got a poster over here and then a nice shelf for more books you know very very simple stuff and then finally guys this is the master bedroom and I forgot to add a door to the bathroom slow claps for me because I 
am an idiot. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'll add a door real quick, but before I do that, let me just go ahead and show you guys the master bedroom. You got a nice balcony right here that allows you to, you know, obviously see outside and then chill outside for a little bit. You got a nice queen size bed with a fireplace and then a couch with a big plasma screen TV. Now that I've shown you guys that, I gotta go into build mode and add a door to the bathroom. Oh my god. Okay, so the door has been re-added. Here is the grand master bathroom. I worked with what I could with all of the colors and textures. I decided to go with a simple, like, what would you call this? Like a blocked wallpaper, like tile wallpaper, and then a checkerboard flooring. That's just how regular bathrooms look in my head. So we rolled with that. We got a bathroom, obviously the floating freaking toilet that I messed up on. And then finally, guys, this is the master walk-in closet with shelves and plenty of clothes. So I actually think I did a pretty good job on this house. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. I have a feeling I'm gonna get roasted, but please be as nice as you possibly can because otherwise I'll cry. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's Roblox video, be sure to smack that like button right now, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. And let me know down in the comment section below what are some other Bloxburg challenges I should do. Oh god, guys, I think I locked these guys inside my house. Be free! Be free, my friends. Okay, okay. Okay, well, now I can close the door. And uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out hyperapparelco.com. That is my official clothing line. Link is down in the description box below. Be sure to check it out to be the coolest kid in school. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dylan, and I will see y'all next time. Peace. Keep the